beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back with a video that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. I put it off for a little bit because there were a couple new boxes that recently hit the market and I wanted to give them a shot to try them out personally myself and see what I thought about them before I included them in this type of video and promoted them or recommended them and I wanted to be able to give you my honest opinions. So this video is gonna be more of a slideshow format, so hopefully you don't mind. There's just a lot of information to cover, and I wanted to make it as clear and concise as possible. So before we get started, I wanted to mention a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, the prices I'm gonna quote you today are in US dollars. They're also based on the US cost of shipping. There's just so many other variables. If I were to include the international cost, it just wouldn't make sense for this video. But I did list, as we get further into the information, which boxes are open to shipping worldwide, and you can check those out yourself based on your specific location after the video. Also, I wanna mention there may be a few boxes on my list that are missing and that's because either I personally don't recommend them or I personally haven't had a chance to try them. But this information does include most of the popular bead boxes out there at this time. Also this should go without saying but this material does contain my personal thoughts and opinions, your opinions, and your take on things may be different and that's totally okay. We're all different and this information is just for you to use as a loose guide to help you make an informed decision. And then finally I will include a list of links to each of these subscriptions below the video in the information section and I do have coupon codes for several of these boxes and I will list those below as well and finally this information is just supplementary to use alongside of my many unboxing videos I have so many of them going out the past year year and a half I do have playlists for a lot of these boxes which will give you a nice close-up view of everything that is included in each one and this video is more of a summary so the first thing that I think you should consider if you're looking at a bead subscription is you need to determine what do you use your beads in? Are you a bead weaver or a stringer? Do you do something else with your beads? Are you a different type of crafter? For this video, I'm gonna break it down into two main categories, whether you are a bead weaver or a bead stringer. That is not to say you can't use them interchangeably, but I think this is a great first step into making a decision if you're on the fence. So for bead weavers, these are the boxes that are going to contain more of your specialty check glass shapes, the ones that are specifically made for use in patterns and bead weaving. You'll also see larger quantities of those same shapes, and you may see things like cabochons, rivolis, other specialty crystals that you can bead around, items that you mostly see in bead weaving projects. For your stringers, these are the boxes that will include things like your gemstone beads, or mostly basic round glass beads, or irregular shapes that are not well suited for weaving. And these boxes may also include some stringing materials, some bindings, bead stringing wire, those types of things. So that's how I'm personally classifying this information. Again, just as a note, even if I classify a box as more for a weaver or a stringer, that doesn't mean that the box can't work for both. So this information is just for you to use as a guide. The next question you should ask yourself is what is your budget? So I'm gonna be breaking these items down into boxes that cost less than $25 and boxes that cost more than $25. So decide how much you're willing to spend and use that as another checkpoint for you to determine which boxes are right for you. All right, so now it's time to get into our first category. That is the bead weavers. We are going to first look at the bead weaving boxes that are around $25 or less. You can see I have four different boxes here included, and you will see that the dollar bead box I have categorized as both for bead weaving and stringing equally because I do feel that they have such varied contents that can really go both ways. So let's take a look at our first box. That would be the dollar bead box. So for each of these boxes, I have a little blurb about how I would summarize the box. I said, for the beater that loves to sample and dabble. The dollar bead box really does have a wide variety of products included in the boxes. With that wide variety, however, the amounts of the beads for each item is quite small. So it's more of a sampler. If you are looking for something with higher quantities of beads, this may not be the box for you. However, it's a great way to sample all different types of beads from check glass fire polish and other check glass specialty shapes, Swarovski to metal components to other types of glass and gemstone beads, and the list goes on. 
They also have a website where you can go and purchase more of what you receive in the box for just a dollar each plus shipping. And they have a great $8 add-on dollar bead bag where you can get an additional eight strands of fire polish beads. You can see the cost here that I've listed and these costs do have a range and that is because with these boxes, you tend to get a discount if you sign up for a longer period of time. So the dollar bead box I have been unboxing for a while on my channel. I have a whole playlist on that. I personally think it's a great starter box. If you wanna sample all different types of materials, here is a little collage that I've included of the past four boxes of contents. I took some screenshots of my unboxing videos to share with you what was included. Now, I do want to note that these do include the dollar bead bag contents, these eight strands of fire polish beads at the top. So if you were just to get the box, it would be these lower contents below the top eight strands. You can see there's a variety of things, including buttons, different types of charms, check glass shapes, findings, crystals, pendants, and even some seed beads. I have noticed that there are some lower quality beads creeping into this box. I feel like when I first started unboxing it, it was all high quality check glass, gemstone beads, Swarovski, and lately there have been some Chinese crystal and some just irregular cheap seed beads and things that I'm not over the moon about but overall I still think it's a good value for the price and great that they have a website that you can order more product on. The next subscription I'd like to talk about is Bead Crate. This is one of my very favorite subscriptions for check glass shapes. My comment here is for the check glass shape enthusiast who likes surprises. You can see the cost for this as well as the shipping. It is a US only box and this is the smaller version of their box. Bead Crate has two different size boxes. I get the collector, which is going to show up a little bit later, but this one I did want to include as an option in the less than $25 range in case you didn't want to spend the amount on the collector's edition. So here's the collage I created from the past four unboxings of my bead crate. Now, of course, these are the collector's editions. The enthusiast, like I said, will contain about half the amount of beads shown in each of these pictures, but this does give you a good idea as to the types of things that are included all different types of high quality check glass shapes, no low quality beads included at all. And you'll also notice there's very few findings included. So this is great if you're looking for mostly beads and you can see why I recommend this one for bead weavers because of all the specialty check glass shapes included. This box has been so consistent for me. I've unboxed it for almost a year and a half as well. And I'm always very happy with the contents. It's very well curated around a theme and specific color story. And I'm still continuing to get new shapes. Next, I want to talk about adornable elements. They have a single club and they have a double club. Now there's all sorts of different clubs that they have. And I've noted here, this is for the classy beater who knows what they want. And that's because they do have six different types of subscriptions that include specific types of beads. That includes if you only want Swarovski crystals, if you only want Mayuki seed beads or Mayuki delicas, or maybe you only want fire polish or only want two whole beads. They have very specific subscriptions depending on what you want. And you can see the cost does vary depending on which subscription you choose. The $26.95 would be for Swarovski, for example, because they do cost more. There's not much savings in this particular subscription over retail costs, so I do wanna bring that out. And because you will be getting such a specific type of bead, you will need to likely have a stash of other beads or findings to work alongside these, but they have come out with a new findings add-on pack for an additional $12.95, which is very good, that I've been able to try out the past three months that you can see here at the bottom of these pictures. And they are all very high quality too, along with their high quality beads. So these are just some examples of the different types of clubs. This was fire polish, Delica, seed beads up here. And this one over here, I believe was the hot and trendy. So you can do a rotating subscription and rotate through all six of their types of boxes, or you can pick and choose which particular one works best for you. A lot of information just on that one alone. Again, in addition to my unboxing videos, I do suggest you go to their websites that I have listed below and check out all the specific information if any of these pique your interest. So next up is the Potomac Beads Best Bead Box. This is one of the newest 
list boxes that has hit the market. I don't even have any cons to include below it. All of the information I have, in my opinion, are pros. And I've said this is for the pattern follower and unique bead shape enthusiast. And that's because this box is unique in that it includes one pattern in every box that you get with the beads that you need to complete the project. You will need to have your own findings and stringing materials most likely, but you will receive all the beads you need, which is great. I think it's awesome for newer bead weavers because it's a great way to teach yourself new techniques, but also great for existing bead weavers who want to do a quick project and have everything they need right at hand. You also get additional beads over and above what they include for the pattern, and they curate everything around a monthly theme, and their beads are very high quality. You also have the ability to purchase more of these items right on their website because they do have quite a large online store. So here's a picture of what was included in the very first best bead box that I unboxed for you guys this month, and I am very happy with the subscription. So that's all the options I have for the bead weavers who are looking to spend around $25 or less per month. Now let's go on to the higher cost boxes. We also have our Bead Crate Collectors Edition, which is the larger version of Bead Crate. We have our Adornable Elements coming back. They have the double version of all their clubs, which includes twice as many beads as the single. You have the Potomac Beads box again, but they have the XL version, which contains about twice as much. And a new one for the slideshow is the Eureka Crystal Beads Monthly Collections. So coming back around to Bead Crate again, everything I said before for the enthusiasm box, except you get twice as many beads. Here's that picture again, so you can see what has been included the past four months. Again, highly recommend if you are a lover of unique and fun checklist shapes. Then bringing back the adornable elements for the double club version. Everything I said about the single club, just twice as many beads. Here's that picture again of four of the recent clubs that I've received. And then again, the Potomac Beads Best Bead Box, this time the XL. So I don't have a picture of the extra large version because I personally did not get a chance to try that one out yet, but I would love to. And it would basically look something like this, except it would contain two patterns and the beads to complete both of those patterns as well as extra beads on top of that. But for one I haven't mentioned yet is the Eureka Crystal Beads Monthly Collection. Now, this is not a subscription box. This is a box you have to go on their website and purchase each month that you want it. The cost on this one is the highest of the bead weaver category. It is between $50 to $55 per month with free shipping. I do have a coupon code for 15% off though that brings that down a little bit if you haven't used that code yet but it is one of my very favorite boxes to receive and unbox. Here's a picture of the past three boxes I've received. They are chock full of high quality beads. They have everything that you're looking for. If you are used to using very high quality materials, you're very into bead weaving, and you like a very cohesive color palette that you don't have to go out and search out these items individually on their own and wonder if they're gonna coordinate. As you can see, it contains everything from very high quality Swarovski crystal stones, Japanese seed beads, special specialty bead shapes, cabochons, sometimes findings, cup chains, Swarovski pearls, check glass drucks. You can see these beautiful daggers down here. So this was another new box to hit the market recently that I wanted to wait and get the chance to try out on my own before I brought it into a video like this. But I think these collections are awesome. And if you have the budget, and especially if you're an experienced beater and you're used to working with high quality materials, you're inspired by a monthly surprise like this, I really can't recommend this box enough. So that's it for our bead weavers. Let's move on to the boxes that I have listed for bead stringers. For the around $25 or less mark, I have included bargain bead box again the dollar bead box which we won't go over again but I wanted to mention it because I feel like this box includes a lot of things that lean towards bead stringing as well and then we have the curated bead box so first the bargain bead box this is another one I cannot recommend enough it is $17.95 a month shipped in the US it's a great deal. I said it's for the bargain hunting bead stringer. And again, I've used a lot of these beads in bead weaving too, but I just feel like overall this box leans more towards bead stringing, and that's why I've included it here. It is one of the most popular boxes on my channel, and for good reason. It even includes gemstone beads each and every month. It is so consistent with what is included. You can make so many things from these boxes, and I've shared a lot of those videos as well with finished pieces that are straight from this particular subscription. I 
think it's great for newer beaders and experienced beaders alike. You get quite a few coordinating findings along with the beads, so it's great if you don't have a stash built up. And the quantities you get for the price are very generous. They're always curated around a monthly theme. And here's a little collage of four of the past boxes that have come in. You can see my full bead mats full of not only glass beads, but look at all the gemstones that they include as well. And I think one of my favorite things that they include are their focals. Like look at these focal beads right here. Beautiful gemstone pendants. I just really feel like this is one of the best for the price. And I know a lot of you guys feel the same way. The only downside I will say is that sometimes they do include some lower quality beads and findings, but this box is not supposed to be a high-end box. And I think with all of the great things they do include, it really doesn't matter. And I'm not saying that the lower quality things they may send are unusable. They never send any plastic or acrylic beads, which I really appreciate. Everything is glass. So when I say lower quality, I'm just talking about a couple basic things such as your Chinese crystal bicones, which I really hate to even mention. There's nothing wrong with Chinese crystal bicones. I'm just simply pointing out the difference between a box like this, for example, and a box like the Eureka Crystal Beads Collection, where there is a difference between Chinese crystal bicones and and Swarovski. But again, nothing wrong with that. Just something for you to consider if it matters to you. I just feel like you really cannot beat the value and the quantities of things you receive. And if you are new to beading or the world of subscription boxes, definitely check this one out and give it a try. Next up, I have the curated bead box. This is one I just recently started sharing on my channel. This is for the low budget basic stash builder or beginning beater. So this box costs $20 a month with free shipping in the US. They do have a awesome Awesome coupon code if you've never tried their box before that I will list down below. It's also on the next slide, making this box only $13 to try out. But this is one that contains mostly round glass beads in coordinating colors. I think they do a great job with their themes as well. And I do feel like they include a lot of beads for the price, but this is something else to keep in mind. You can see there's not a lot of variety in the shapes of the beads. You're going to get a lot of round glass beads. You do get some findings in these boxes, which is helpful, along with with a little bit of stringing material and some additional components to work with. And I think this is just one of those boxes that is great, especially for a newer beater. And even more so for somebody who's into bead stringing, because as you can see, there's not a lot of variety in the shapes and you can come up with a lot of very simple bead stringing projects from what they include. One thing I do wanna to mention too, is that with the curated bead box, they also have a website. Their sister site is dollarbead.com. Totally different from dollarbeadbox.com. I know it's confusing, but this one is with dollarbead.com and this is another one of those subscriptions where you can go and purchase more of these items from their website. And then next back again in this category is the dollar bead box. I won't go over this information again, but here is that picture as another bead string option at around the $25 or less price point. And now we'll get into our last section. This is the bead stringers who are looking to spend more than $25 on a box. I do have two different types of boxes listed here. One is the soft flex mystery box. And then we have the Jesse James magical mystery bead box. So the soft flex box I listed as for the high quality seeking organized bead stringer. The cost of this box is $32.95, but if you order anything else on their website over $50, you will get free shipping. They do have the option of worldwide shipping. And what's nice about this box is that they do include some of their own soft flex brand product, which is high quality bead stringing wire and material. They also have a really awesome Facebook group. So if you're looking for community involvement, you want to see what other people are up to with the same materials, get ideas, bounce ideas off each other. If you're more of a social beater in that way, then there will probably be a lot of value in that for you. I think it's definitely worth the $32.95 price point. This spool of soft flex alone was nearly $10, which would be about a third of the cost of this entire box. I did find also they included a lot of very nice check glass beads, high quality items, and the quantities of the items that they included were pretty generous. I was very happy to see that. It wasn't just two to four of each bead type, for example. And you can sort of see these entire strands of check glass beads here also. This is another one I've listed as bead stringing, but it really does does kind of walk the line of bead weaving as well. I included it more for stringing because they are soft flex. They include a lot of beading wire and that type of stringing material, which lends itself more, of course, towards bead stringing. You can see they did include some findings in this box as well. And overall, it's a nice cohesive theme. And even though I've only unboxed one of these particular types of boxes, I have seen 
pictures and video of some of their past boxes, and I can tell you that they are consistent and along these lines, and I would be very comfortable recommending it. And then the final box I wanna share is the Jesse James Magical Mystery Bead Box. This is the most expensive in the bead stringing category I have in this slideshow, and this is one of those boxes I feel it has really improved over the past year. I say here, this is for the lover of whimsy, statement pieces and bead sorting. And that's because you get a lot of bead mixes in these boxes. So if you don't like bead mixes, this probably wouldn't be the box for you because you will be sorting through these beads. Some people love them and some people don't. Just another thing to consider about this box. They do also curate their boxes around a monthly theme and I think it's always very well put together. Sometimes they even come with a little project kit that has a corresponding video on their YouTube channel or their blog and you have the ability to purchase more of these beads typically on their website. I do feel I need to mention that in the past they have included some acrylic beads in their boxes and I let you guys know in those unboxings that I was not particularly thrilled with that I think for a box that costs this much per month it's the highest cost in this category I just don't feel like acrylic beads should have been included but again that's my personal opinion but I'm happy to say that over time each box seemed to be getting better than the last one like they were including lots of high quality check glass beads as you can see these are the past four unboxings that I did and I definitely felt like the value had increased dramatically you can also see what I meant here about there being many types of beads but smaller quantities because a lot of these were in their own bags of mixes and I had to sort through them to put the same types of beads together. You'll also see some of their chain, some of their mixed bead strands. You get a lot of interesting metal components, tassels, focal beads, and that's why I say if you like whimsy statement pieces, things that might surprise you, this would probably be more of the box for you. So those are all the boxes that I wanted to bring out today in both the weaving and the stringing categories in the $25 and under and the over $25 price range. I hope this information was helpful for you. I know it's a lot of information to digest. Like I said, just use this as a loose guide and feel free to refer back to this information anytime you'd like to. And I wanted to leave this video with a few reminders, such as the most important one I feel like is have fun. Don't take this so seriously. Bead subscriptions should be an exciting monthly surprise. They need to inspire you. And if you're not feeling inspired or happy or excited, then cancel it. Switch to something else. Try something else. It's probably not right for you and that's okay. Everybody has different tastes, different beading styles, different budgets. So I really can't tell you what box is right for you, even though I get that question all the time. What box should I get? I can't tell you that, but hopefully this information is more than enough for you, plus all the unboxing videos to help you make that decision for yourself. These are all boxes I would recommend. Are they all boxes I would personally subscribe to for my own beading and my own budget? No, I couldn't possibly use all of these subscription boxes myself, and I have some that are more tailored towards my taste than others, but these are all boxes that I would happily recommend and that I know a lot of you guys get enjoyment out of. And finally, you know, you probably won't be blown away by any single subscription box every month. I mean, color schemes, themes, the materials you get, they're going to vary each month. They're supposed to be a surprise, and you're not gonna be blown away by every single one at the same level every time. There's just things that you're going to be more drawn to than others, more colors that you're going to be drawn to than others. So maybe give a subscription a good three months before you decide if you want to cut it or change to something else, or if you want to continue it and just realize that you are taking a chance when you sign up for any subscription. So if you're not willing to take that chance, with your money, then subscription boxes may not be right for you and that's okay too. So that's all I have for you guys today. I wanna to thank you so much for being with me for this video. I hope it was helpful for you and gave you some new things to think about. Like I said, I do have playlists set up for most of these boxes, so go ahead and watch any of those that you find particularly interesting and see what I've been receiving from them. And maybe it'll make that decision a little bit more clear for you. Also, don't forget, I have listed all these subscriptions that I mentioned today below the video with links and the coupon codes that go with them. Before I end this video, I do have one request for you guys, and that is if you are a subscriber of any of these boxes or have been in the past, please leave a comment below and let us know what has been your favorite box and why, because I think it's more important to get a collective take on that information rather than me telling you what is my favorite box. I think it makes more of an impact if others can see your comments and see how the community feels as a whole. So don't be afraid down below to share your thoughts and opinions on your favorite box 
boxes for beading and jewelry making, and maybe it'll help somebody else out too. So other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. I hope to be back soon with much, much more. And as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnoble.com. Thanks for watching.